don't want to cross them. That'd be bad. Goodness, there's some other people on a different con on the combat tractor that is not us. Oh my gosh. No, it's my other group. I better remove those. Brad, I don't have time to see them. They've been blood splattered all over the combat tractor. As is fitting for another group who are trying to impose their <laughs> lodginess upon us. They're, they're actually behind you a fair way, actually. They're still on the Kingston Lancey bit. Lacey bit. It's a good, good place for them. Okay. Or the B team, okay. or maybe the Z team, whatever. So that's cleaned up the conduit track here. We should all be ready to go. Alright then, so uh, the last session you found yourselves in Cairo, in Egypt. You were um, originally um, looking at a, a potential curse on a uh, an explorer who was uh, out here. An explorer's name was... I've forgotten his name. Colonel Archie Willard. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, Colonel Archie Willard. And um, it seems that after he visited a doctor called Dr. Nazari, he mysteriously got better from this, um, this curse, this affliction. You visited him and um, he seemed on the up and up, but after more investigation, you discovered that um, he was not as uh, he appeared. You had a fight with some uh, jackal-headed statues and a rather large brute, and eventually managed to track down Dr. Nasri to his hideout. He'd actually moved from his uh, surgery, where you initially saw him, and you found a him in hideout in the slums of Cairo. And there you discovered that he'd actually summoned a band of uh, weir hyenas um, who were out there uh, trying to help him. Uh, you're not quite sure what he was up to, but you managed to slay him. And um, after he died, he actually came back to life as this uh, strange beast, which was the uh, avatar of Amut. It's a uh, essentially a demon, an, an avatar of a god uh, out there. You managed to destroy him in a fairly exciting fight. He had a uh, breath weapon, uh, which gave you some trouble, breathing fire all over you and the like. But you managed to prevail and um, slaughtered everyone in the hideout and that's where we um where we left it actually did we search the corpse i can't remember did we find any information on why he was to, to cured the guy and we literally finished the fight and then left uh so you'll have a search around here if everyone wants to make me a notice roll please if you're searching if you're not then don't Pretty much everyone apart from the cleric manages to um, find some uh, evidence in here. You can see a lot of occult or rather Egyptian uh, occult paraphernalia around the place. Uh, you also manage to find his diary and like all good uh, baddies he's um, left a diary of events and in it it tells of his um, his hatred of uh, these Westerners who are coming to Cairo and uh, essentially looting it of all its uh, history. Um, he um, really resents the ex exodus of ancient wealth to Western countries and uh, and the profit that everyone's making out of Cairo. He, um, in his notes, he said that uh, basically he wants to bring back the old ways and uh, wreak terrible vengeance on those that would um, steal his or Cairo's treasures, Egypt's treasures. Apart from that you don't find that much of value, you'll get a, a bit of money I guess um, from him um, in there. I'll put it on the character sheet. 
party sheet rather. So in his journals or anything, is there people that he's working with or anything like that? Or is he working? He seems to be working by himself other than he had a couple of henchmen and some summon creatures. So You're absolutely correct on that. There's no mention in it anywhere of any involvement with any sort of wider society. He appeared to be a lone wolf operator. His um, only ally really was the Egyptians' gods, which he, he called upon for power, which um, granted him these uh, summoned creatures, the, the magical animated statues, the... Uh, the uh, guy that he managed to bring back to life, um, and um, the weird hyenas who uh, also were, he was going to uh, said he planned to send them out to wreak carnage um, around the uh, around the western areas of uh, Cairo. So this was the guy that supposedly healed the the colonel or whatever, right? Correct. And this is a lab albeit a somewhat smashed up, you know, we just had a big old fight in here lab, right? Yeah, that's fair to say, yeah. It's a sort of magical lab, yeah. And other than his journal, is there any other, like, research books or anything like that? Um, yes, you will find, um, yeah, um, it's all... I wouldn't call them research books as such. They are more sort of ancient texts that he's been um, deciphering. I suppose you could call it research in a way. But he's basically been trying to um, go back to the old ways, the old ways of um, Egyptian magic and, uh, you know, old practices of uh, Egyptian pharaohs and the like. So you could, um, I'll put, I'll put that on the part sheet if you like, um, so. I'll put Egyptian occult books on there, shall I? I, I keep pressing the wrong push to talk about here. Uh, I'm going to call in a favor. Uh, we are in Cairo, the, uh, headquarters of the Fraser's Fighters. Ah. So I would like to gain the assistance of, a. Uh, single militia extra for the game session which will cost me two favors awesome yeah you can do that and, i will and i will have him come and catalog and uh carry off this stuff over to the fraser's fighters headquarters and they can check it out more in depth very good I i'm gonna give you a penny actually that for the use of um Favor point, Jay. Yeah, very good. So you can take two favors off me, though. Um, I have to pay two because I'm <coughs> notorious. <laughs> okay, you've spent two favors, um, but uh, yeah, I'll give you a penny because I quite like that because it's uh, increasing the ripper knowledge. Of, uh, excellent, excellent. Okay. Says well, uh, Pierre says, ah, uh, man. Mes amis, are, are we finished here tonight? Uh, uh, we have quite a mess here, and uh, my associate here will uh, will take care of all the, the minor details, unless there is something else here that we need to do. Um, our task, well, we, we did not find out how he was achieving his healing powers over the colonel and whatnot. Uh, I, I, I'm unsure where to go from here, where to proceed. Is there anything lootable? Apart from the occult books, yeah, there will be some sort of Egyptian oh, artifacts like and Egyptian things, artifacts but artifacts that could be sold for cold cash. Um, I should imagine how he did it is in the um, in the magic books. Um, yeah, you'd probably be um, right there. It'll take a time to um, digest them, but I think Pierre's got his uh, man looking into it, so that's quite good. Um, you could take them for yourselves also if you wish. Um, there is there are some artifacts there i will um doesn't specify anything in particular um but uh, so i'll just put i'll put them on the uh, party sheet um yeah we'll we'll get them sold and get some money i 
I was especially disgusted by uh, this man's terrible views that uh, good, honest people like us that make a living from antiquities shouldn't be allowed in Egypt. What a savage. <laughs> no, it's no good, is it? Okay, so you clean up here. Um, as you um, leave, you'll notice that there are people, um, locals um, in the streets, there's some uh, people uh, sort of crying, um, they look quite sort of dejected at what's um, gone on here. Maybe he did have some influence on the uh, locals around here. Look, who's our, who's our face around here? Arena, Arena, talk to those people, see what, see what influence this man had here. Um, I'll try and uh, approach one of them and ask what's the matter. Uh, d d d Dr. Nazari, he was a, a great man. He he helped m many people. You you. Uh, w why did you 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 do that? He was a, a good man. A good man. D do what we um we were trying to help the good doctor he was attacked by a, a crocodile headed monster um and he fought with us very bravely um probably he fought so bravely to keep it from coming out and and attacking you people in the neighborhood to be fair actually there's not really anything left of the doctor's body it just turned into that creature um <laughs> So um, he, the, the the man you're talking to, he'll um, he'll make me a persuading roll. Sorry, Arena. You you Westerners, foreigners, you, you have no business here. Uh, get get away, get away, go go back to England, wherever you came from. Does anyone know any good Egyptian names? Egyptian names? Hmm? Google is your friend, my friend. Uh, I like Google. Look. All right, well, are you uh, done out here or is there anything else you wish to do before you head back to the hotel? Head back to the hotel. Uh, yep. Once we, once we, you know, take care of the business. There was a shooting and whatnot, so we're gonna have to deal with the militia again, I'm sure. Hey there. Hello, Jonathan. Hey uh, there. Sorry, I'm late. No, no, you're fine. Um, I, I guess you're getting once an adventure card now, aren't you? Yeah, I'm awkward that way. Oh, actually, I might have uh, given you one because you're on the party sheet, and you say you should be fine, actually. Right, okay. Yep, yeah, okay, cool. All right, so you get back to the uh, hotel, and uh, as you um, sign back into your rooms, the... Um, the, the guy in reception there, he um, he waves at you. Uh, sir, sirs, madam, I, I have a, uh, a a telegram for you. From uh, from from London. That's a look in the thing. middle of the night. Odd. Well, what is it, ma'am? It says, Kingston Lacey attacked. Stop. No casualties. Stop. Oblisk destroyed. Stop. Please visit at your convenience. Stop. Sir William Banks. Stop. Okay, I only know one of Ob Obelisk. So, is that the one in the the Mies? Yes. The one I never got to see because of uh, the attack on him. Yes, you wanted him to um, show you his obelisk, uh, didn't you? Mm. Obelisk. Oh, oh, well. Okay, so. What do you want to do? 
do you think we're finished here? Do, do we do you want us to race back? And the message is very informative, but not helpful. I don't recognize the names. So. This is our matron, right? Uh, our matron's Mina Harker. Mina Harker, right? Who's Lacey? I haven't got Lacey written down. But is William this, Banks you, was. Lacey is, is the place that Sir William Banks lives at. Ah, oh, okay, that's the name of the. And some Sir William Banks was the very rich guy we went to um, a house party at his on oh, Mina's uh, request yeah, to try yeah. and um, talk him into uh, funding some Ripper stuff. Someone kept on casting darkness spells to stop me from hitting people. It was not nice. So, Sir William, that, that note is from the rich guy then, basically, right? Yeah. Yes. So, who's Kingston Lacey? Kingston Lacey is a place. It's the place oh, where he lives. Oh. Right. It, it's right. like Helena Montana is, is not a person. Okay. Um, I don't know. Do you think we're done here? We were supposed to investigate his supernatural heal, the, the colonel's supernatural recovery, right? That was our uh, Well, we've got the book, so it may be something we could. And he used read Egyptian or whatever the language is in Egypt. No, I think your man's best uh, taking care of that. Yeah, all right. Um, yeah, so I'll just, uh, I'll just pop over there and have them telegraph us back in London, I guess. Doesn't we forget that they actually came here to kidnap the, the colonel? We came here to kidnap the colonel? No, we no, we, we did not, but it, the guys that attacked him uh, at the hotel stopped Yeah, that. but they're all dead now. Yeah, but, yeah, maybe, we're not sure, are we? All right, well, should we go back and talk to the colonel then? He's just Yeah, I think we need to finish up with the colonel. I mean, the message says it's not it's not urgent, so we can take um, half a day or a day clearing up here, can't we? We can always do what Andrew just said and kidnap this colonel and take him back to the UK. We'll be safe back there. That's true. And, and we don't and we don't know why they actually tried to kidnap him. We'd never find that out. No, because everyone was dead at the end. Well, there was some information in uh, Dr. Nasri's diary, um, which said essentially that he was um, looking to kill him, um, to uh, kidnap him and then kill him. Wanted to sacrifice him, he said to Amut. That kind of go counter to what we learned, though. He was, he was helping, or he was the one that saved him, right? We think. He did initially, yes. So he saved him just to sacrifice him. That seems odd. Yes, we, we, better go speak with him. we better go speak with him. Speak with the colonel to find he out. He might not have saved him. He might have lured him in to see him by putting a curse on him and then lifting it when he came to you know we should not worry too much about how these heathen minds work let us just see at the colonel fast forward across the road delete, delete, delete. Okay, yep, you uh, go across the road to um, talk to the colonel, who will, uh, will speak to you again. This is the next day. Oh, ah, good good morning. Um, please uh, pull up a, a seat, uh, take some breakfast, we have some toast and things. I'll be standing. Well... Uh, we found out that the person that healed you was really, for some unknown reason, wanted you healed so he could sacrifice you to his peeven god. So I think it's time that you left Egypt and came back to London. 
I find that hard to believe Dr. Nasri seems such a, um, a, a kindly um, and a benevolent sort of man. I am. Then why did he try and have you kidnapped last night? I am a vicar of the Church of England, and I think that you should trust me. And I play a card. Great respect to your attitude. Your, your, uh, whatever. You are indeed right, Vicar. Um, there's been so much trouble since I've been here in Cairo. Uh, I, I must, I think it is time for me to return back to England. I will make uh, arrangements immediately to return back to London. We can do any more research on these uh, artifacts uh, back in London. I don't need to stay here any longer. Well, if you hurry up and pack, you can come with us, because we're leaving too. Aren't we? Indeed. Yeah, we need to get back to England. I'm hungry after some proper food. Yeah, the food out here will have been shocking. Okay, so you, um, you convince him to um, return back to England. I'm uh, still none to sure 100% about uh, Dr. Nasri's uh, reasons for initially uh, healing the man and then attempting to kidnap and sacrifice him later. However, um, Dr. Nasri for all intents and purposes appears to be vanquished and there's been a uh, little more trouble since you've uh, been since his death. So you'll, um, yeah, you get everything together and Sir William the colonel rather will also uh, pack his things and you'll get on aboard the same boat and um, return back to England. Um, I'll ask the colonel what what um, what the story was with his illness. What, what did he think was causing it and what did he say to uh, Nazarene was causing it? Nazare, he, he gave me um, a, a charm and he... Um, a, a poultice to drink, foul tasting, grey it was, and um, he, he'll rummage around and um, he comes out with, um, he looks like a sort of wheat man which has been um, tied up and made into like a uh, an image of a, um, a, a person's like a stick man. Um, this was yeah. so he could locate you. Um, what was the cause of your ailment? He said that you thought it was a curse. Uh, I'm, well, I, I must confess, I still believe it to have been a curse upon me. It is possible that he put it on you just to lure you in so that uh, he had somebody he felt was suitable for sacrifice. He was part of a militant group um, who wanted to uh, send all us uh, Westerners home and um, stop us from... Um, for finding out about the past and uh, uncovering the the secrets of Egypt. By gods, the savages! Well, I'm uh, glad to, I'll be glad to be back in England with uh, some sane people. Can I have a look at your talisman? Oh, I, of, of course, I have no further need of it. I take the talisman off and go to the side of the ship and throw it overboard. All right, Even okay. symbols should be destroyed. <laughs> All right. Okay, after a rather lengthy and uneventful ship journey, you will once more reach the uh, docks of London. It is misty and there's a nice light rain falling and everything looks grey and dreary. So, you know, you're back in London. Yes. Should we head to our head office before we go to Dorset? Because we really need more information. Yes, we should. About Just as you step off the docks that you, um, you're getting your belongings together on the docks as they're being uh, unloaded for you. And there's a, a newspaper um, seller, um, little lad, um, carrying a stack of papers um, under one arm. Read all about it. Ripper strikes again. Ripper strikes again. Read all about it. Get a paper off him and read it. And read all about it, in fact. Okay. 
he wasn't lying. He, you can read all about it. The headline. I don't know about that bloke. He's probably around somewhere. But uh, the headline reads "Ripper Strikes Again" in the in the star in big letters on the front of the page. It says uh, that the uh, last evening um, there was a um, another murder, exactly um, the same profile as the Ripper murders uh, down in um, Whitechapel. In a lane there, the police are um, investigating. Um, it seems as uh, much. Um, much many people are worried that Jack could be back. It was a um, a woman um, who was murdered. Um, her name was Mary Carnegie. She was found um, ritually uh, cut up. Well, ritually just cut up, <laughs> as the uh, very similar fashion to the other. Um, other Ripper's murders, she had her um, throat slit and her ab abdomen had shown um, signs of cuts from um, a, a, the same implement, most likely a um, scalpel. However, to give you all a little background um, about this, um, you know that um, it can't be Jack the Ripper because um, the Ripper's killed Jack the Ripper and the the story behind that with the um, with the Rippers is that they um, previously were fighting the Cabal um, and it was a an alliance between Count Dracula, Jack the Ripper and uh, Frankenstein, Victor Frankenstein um, amongst other notables who um, got together to form the Cabal and um, were causing lots of um, trouble due to it. However, uh, Jack the Ripper was originally Jack, um, Jack D, um, John D rather, and he um, was the one who really started experimenting with Ripper Tech. Um, and it was Ripper Tech that eventually meant that they could kill um, uh, Dracula and the like through the use of Ripper Tech. Um, however, they found uh, lots of side effects from the, the use of um, Ripper Tech called Ripping Psychosis. And um, sadly, um, John D went um, insane due to the use of Ripper Tech. And uh, despite being the head of the Ripper's organisation, um, went on a rampage, called himself Jack the Ripper, and um, carried out the Ripper murders. He was later killed. Um, by uh, Van Helsing and um, and other heroes, um, so you know that um, Jack the Ripper is dead. Essentially, he was the head of the Rippers who uh, went um, who betrayed you all. In effect, went mad through ripping psychosis. Look at the look at the dates and find out it was recently, obviously, within the last fortnight, or probably, or the last day or two, I guess, because it's a daily paper. Yeah, it's a, a daily paper. It was it wouldn't have been last night. It was the night before that this uh, this occurred. Well, let's go to the headquarters and see. to me it sounds like they're probably in an uproar okay so um mina um is at van helsing manor so you want to go and see mina sure is that our headquarters it's the headquarters of the rippers here um yes in london yep sounds like a good place to go then Get a lodge for you actually. Today's, um...
can't find his never mind um but you'll uh, you'll head out to the van helsing uh, estate here and arrange to meet with mina then okay there is mina she looked damaged damaged first message says she got attacked but no casualties ah um do you, well she, she doesn't appear damaged no she smiles as you uh, enter he'll meet her in a uh, drawing room here um and she uh, will smile warmly at you um, a good day I i'm glad to see that you've all returned safely from um cairo um, tell me, um, how did that trip um, go? Did you perhaps find any links between the uh, attempted abductions of the uh, professor here and the goings on at Kingston Lancy? We didn't find a connection there. Apart from that, they seem to want to kidnap anyone who takes Egyptian ar uh, artifacts from Egypt and. Sacrifice them, maybe? Well, we're pretty sure they wanted to kill the general, right? Colonel, yeah. Yeah. We did get a message saying that you got attacked, but uh, there was no casualties, which is... How does... Ah. Uh -huh. We got a message that um, the colonel was attacked. That's, uh, yes, um, I um, did speak to the, the Colonel by uh, telephone um, recently, sorry, um, Sir William Banks um, recently. He um, did have an unfortunate event at his um, manor, apparently some sort of Egyptian monument on his estate there. Um, apparently they were awoken um, during the night by the sound of a large explosion. Uh, they went out to find the monument had been uh, destroyed but there was uh, no sign of um, of the perpetrators uh, involved in this. He did, however, um, that event did spur him on a bit, uh, Sir William Banks, and he has agreed to uh, provide assistance um, to you. Um, he wants to uh, pay you a monthly uh, stipend. He's uh, stipend. He's sent up an account for you, um, and he will deposit hundred pounds per month um, in there. Um, Excellent. So that should help with uh, any investigations that you are undertaking. Well, excellent. Then our mission to to visit him on your behalf was successful. Then it was. Um, he he also said that um, you may um, use his estate if you wish. I presume he thinks it will. Uh, give him some extra security there, and also if you wanted to create your own lodge, uh, you you may do so there. Of course, the the choice is um, yours. Um, you are becoming more experienced now, and um, perhaps a, um, a a lodge and uh, would be um, of use to you. Well, excellent, excellent. We shall uh, we shall have to go and uh, investigate. Uh, the, the the only tie seems to be. Egyptian artifacts. Uh, so, as a, as a purveyor of Egyptian artifacts, uh, both he and the colonel uh, have some some things in common there. Perhaps they were on the same dig or something. Uh, we've not established those those links, but we shall uh, go and and investigate his uh, his obelisk destruction uh, right away. I guess. Splendid, splendid. That's uh, wonderful. Oh, and. Uh, Sorry, sorry, Mina. My apologies. Uh, no, no. Good. Uh, 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 apologies, apologies. Uh, you were about to say something. Go ahead. Uh, no, please go ahead. I, um, I talk too much. She'll smile. <laughs> oh, some would say you do not talk enough. Uh, but uh, what, what, what news of this Ripper uh, copycat? Uh, Obviously, we are investigating that as well. Yes, that is a uh, curious thing. I suspect it is, well, it must be a copycat. Um, as we all know, um, the, the Ripper um, was uh, slain by Van Helsing a number of years ago. 
so it could not be him uh, in either case it is concerning that we perhaps have a uh, copycat maybe it is uh, someone else who has succumbed to um, ripping psychosis though I, I doubt it we have um, drastically cut back on the the use of uh, rip attack um, and um, it is far more when we use it now we are far more cautious than we used to be perhaps uh, I don't know have you have you seen the police reports or anything like that uh... The paper seemed to indicate that the person had a, a similar sort of knowledge that uh, Jack the Ripper seemed to possess in terms of skill with a scalpel and such. Yes, I have not investigated uh, more directly. Um, I've just really heard uh, some bits of information from the papers and from a, a few of my contacts. It does appear that whoever carried this out would have had some sort of inside knowledge into the, the Ripper cases themselves maybe and doesn't indeed appear to be skilled with a scalpel so there are, there are similarities it is a uh, worrying situation for us I think well perhaps if we have some time after speaking with uh, Sir, Sir Banks uh, we shall look into it more closely Splendid, and uh, I'm uh, pleased to see that you, you're all back well and safe. Thank you, Mina, and uh, have a great day. Did you, um, if anyone's got some experience, um, you could learn um, Repetech knowledge if you want to go that route. If you don't, that's cool. I thought Jonathan was the only one that had slight interest in it. That was me, actually. I was asking about last thing. Game. Oh, what's that? The freshman? Uh, I keep forgetting my accent. <laughs> uh, I will. I, I have begun to acquire some books and stuff, and I will perhaps spend some points on that in the future. Yep, no worries. All right, off to uh, Kingston Lacey or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> Kingston Lacey, I guess. I will procure my horse and ride. Because <laughs> I like to ride. Okay. By various meets, um, routes then, you can get a um, horse and carriage, which will take you to Kingston Lacey. I think we got a train last time, didn't we? Yeah, we went yeah. on the train. Last we time. did take the train. However you prefer, yep. The inside's be faster and more comfortable. Yeah, but I never get to ride my my horse, so I'm going to ride my horse. Yeah, you've got a ripper horse, haven't you, as well? I do have a ripper horse. Does he um, scare less or something? I forgot what he does. Oh, uh, yeah. He's, he's a... He's well, well trained. And he can sense the unnatural. Oh, oh, that's useful. Also, he does maths. <laughs> Very clever horse. I shall have to think of a suitable French name for him. Yes, so William, he, um, his face bursts into a smile, he looks thrilled to see you. Ah, my friends, my good friends, um, c come in, come in. Um, I'm uh, so pleased to see you that you're, you're back from uh, Egypt. Um, you must tell me about it, but I'm sure you're also curious about the attack here. Indeed. And uh, alas, Irina, I'm afraid uh, it seems I, I never will be able to um, show you around the, the maze uh, properly to um, look at the monument. Um, uh, sadly, it, um, it, it's been destroyed and he'll take you down there. 
and uh, indeed it looks like there's been a uh, explosion at the base of the Egyptian mon um, monument and it has um, collapsed. There's some large pieces still remaining but uh, it's mostly um, rubble. He says it's such a shame it's uh, so such an old uh, piece of um, piece of art and uh, it has now sadly lost forever. Do you have any photographs or rubbings of any um, hieroglyphs? Oh yes, yes, we study it quite extensively. I have, uh, I have the information in the the library inside. Can you not cement it back together? I will uh, and try to repair it, but uh, quite a bit of it has been just um, destroyed to sand. So we'd have to perhaps make a replica of it. It, it would never be the same again. Over lunch. Uh, how, how long ago? We've been gone for many months. Uh, was there any investigation? As Was there any luck in the investigation to find uh, clues as to who did this? Alas, there was not. It happened in the dead of night and with the maze being located fairly far away from the, the grounds of the, the manor, um, all we heard was the uh, explosion um, by the time the, my uh, butler got out there to uh, check it on it it was uh, it was all quiet and there was uh, no one around the, the police said they thought it had been done by a, a barrel of uh, gunpowder um, placed at the base of the of the of the monument but uh, as to uh, who committed this um, crime I'm not sure however I would I suspect it could well be those uh, villains and vagabonds that uh, tried to kidnap me here previously. I should think so. Perhaps their original intention was to get control of it and when they failed to kidnap you they decided to destroy it. Yes indeed that could be the, the case. I'm still curious to why they'd want to kidnap me though. I'm just an amateur enthusiast. Oh, a bit um, amateur enthusiast. You're very famous and um, a, a well-known personality. Hmm. Hmm, yes, it could be it. Uh, anyway, I have another uh, proposition for you. Uh, well, in two parts, really. Um, I'm not sure whether Mina had already informed you, but uh, I've set up a bank account in your names and I'll deposit a, uh, a monthly sum of £100 in there for you uh, to uh, to help with any, any investigations or any work that you're doing. I see now the vital importance of the things that the, the Rippers do. Uh, and also, uh, with uh, being essentially just myself here, you'd be welcome to stay here and use it for any purpose that you wish. That's most generous of you, thank you. And in an out of game way, that that's just an offer that you can use this as a lodge. You don't have to. You can um, happily set up your own one wherever you I wish. Think, I think Irina wanted the submarine lodge, remember? <laughs> I thought it was a nice idea. A mobile, mobile. a mobile lodge is a really good idea, actually. You could have it as a ship or something, I guess. You might be able to do a, a submarine, a weird science one. You need to hire a scientist. I think this would be a great base for us, though, because, um, yes, obviously it's got great, um, uh, well, it's got a good library. Um, it's a lovely big place. You could do both. You, you don't, wouldn't have to do um, one. You could uh, get yourself a, um, a submarine slash ship, whatever, um, and also use this as a like a land place. I don't know. have us as the uh... we, we will have to take that into consideration uh, Monsieur Banks uh, uh, your offer is extremely generous however and, and we graciously accept your your generosity and, and your patronage 
on behalf of Mina and ourselves and the Rippers. Um, perhaps while we are here, we can do a little bit of uh, investigation of our own to see if we can locate any missed clues as to the destruction of the of the obelisk. Uh, Splendid. Not... You... Go ahead. You are more than welcome. Wasn't really worth interrupting you for, but yes, you have the full run of the the grounds. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead, mate. Said, so, do you have any pictures or uh, uh, descriptions or or anything of the obelisk from before? Uh... Yes, absolutely. And, and and any information you can give us about the obelisk? Uh, where did you get? Where did you acquire the obelisk from? Okay, he will um, take you up to the library. In the library there are rubbings from the side of the obelisk. There are pictures of um, of the obelisk where it was situated in Egypt, um, at a uh, tomb location. Um, there's nothing... You don't come up with anything immediately unusual um, about it. It's a... Um, I can't remember this group or last group. I think it was this group that I spoke to <laughs> about it before. But it, it was basically, a, it got a sort of generic um, religious symbols on it. It was like a religious um, um, monument uh, concerned with the afterlife and that kind of thing. Okay, is there any correlation between uh, the obelisk or any of the other artifacts that Sir Banks had and the dig site that the colonel was at? Um, no, um, well, the, apart from the fact that they, they both contained um, tomb items, they were both located in different areas of um, Egypt, and there isn't any sort of solid correlation between the, the two, apart from, um, apart from they, they are both to do with um, tombs in the afterlife and things like that. So there, there is that uh, theme there, but no, no sort of strong... Um, if you're looking at the obelisk, is it uh, does it appear to be a piece that could uh, fit into another piece or something? Uh, no, so this one was just a um, the good idea, but this one's just like a, a standalone um, monument that, um, that essentially stood outside a tomb with like blessings on for the afterlife and that kind of thing. We, we really have to stop killing all of these attackers. We, we simply need to find more information. Uh, well, I'm going to take advantage of your library here, Sir Banks, while I'm here, and uh, perhaps research some of these other things that have been going on recently. And, and I'm going to excuse myself and uh, see if his library contains any information about uh, the Colonel's digs or any artifacts from that era. Okay, maybe an investigation or all, if you would. Yeah, okay. I only find only I spend several hours. Oh, if you guys want to help out, you can. I'd spend the next several hours uh, boning up on Egyptian culture and and history and research and stuff. I'll spend the next several hours schmoozing. Um, with our um, good patron and um, attempting to uh, wheedle my way into into his affections. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. So was, okay. Um, so, I, I guess a persuade type thing, I guess. Well, that didn't work. Um, you can Benny them in this, if you wish. I definitely will then, because I, I don't really want to just make him hate me. Maybe Jonathan would have better luck than you. <laughs> I think, though, um, 
because you've got a good standing with him anyway, I'll give you a, a, a plus two bonus, I think, um, on that because um, he, he's a, you're already sort of favourable um, with him and um, I think it's a... Um, you, you don't... You make sort of promising progress um, with it. Um, with him, you can see you are sort of getting there into his affections, but you're not entirely sure, you know, where you stand at the moment. That makes sense. I know where I want to stand, which is uh, with his whole fortune mine. <laughs> So we'll treat that as a um, a running social encounter. You know, we do it over steps. So we'll do this one now, and then a bit later we'll do another one and things like that, and we could end up with that uh, blossoming romance. Okay, notice roll there, please, Jonathan. Uh, I've not forgotten Adgar's investigation. I'll come back to you in one second. Okay, you uh, look for clues out around the, the maze and that kind of area and you find a, um, a footprint which is very near to the uh, edge of the hedge, hedge maze. Um, it's been sort of protected from the weather um, a little bit because it's been underneath the uh, hedge, um, you know, just at the, at the side, so I must have stumbled or something uh, while they were running through. Um, the, the footprint appears to be um, it, it's not of a um, sort of a, a Western style of um, footwear. Um, probably something uh, Middle East, Eastern or even um, Egyptian, um, perhaps origin. With you being out there, you'll have seen a lot of uh, types of footwear. You think it might um, fit them with the type of tread on it and the like? I'll uh, I'll point it out to to various people. Uh, there you go. It's probably a a foreigner or somebody that's wearing foreign clothes look footprints uh, in the uh, Egyptian foreign style. footprints yeah not not a uh, not a, a westerner but uh, but probably one of those uh, Egyptian people Perhaps we should talk to the local constabulatory and see if uh, there have been any foreigners uh, in the area lately. We are somewhat removed from the capital and whatnot. Uh, uh, perhaps uh, they've seen some people around here. I mean, Sir Banks is uh, known for hosting, you know, foreigners and whatnot, but uh, perhaps these are, are, are not known to him, let's say. Yeah, absolutely. If uh, there's been any suspicious uh, foreign people hanging around recently. Okay. Um, In fact, that. didn't we didn't we meet the head of the police, or was he killed? Mm, no, I don't think he got killed. We we did we meet the mayor? Oh, we met, we met the Chief the Superintendent Chief. Maxwell Pugent. I thought, he, I thought Maxwell died. He did, yes. But there were all the other uh, police people. Um, and, Adger, sorry, not forgotten you. Uh, just to go back to your investigation role you did a bit ago. You'll be able to... Um, the, the link is, there's a link between um, the afterlife, um, between the, the diff two digs that the, the different people uh, do. So there's that theme basically, reincarnation, um, resurrection type theme. Um, but you, um, you uh, don't find anything else particularly solid in there. But, but we're, we're unsure if uh, the witch doctor actually took artifact back in Egypt, right? Um, but I'm thinking it's maybe the U.S. able to send something to to London here so that uh, they could raise uh, the river again. Just thinking. Could be. Perhaps, uh, perhaps we should speak to. Uh... Omar Muhammad, uh, 
he is a, a far greater expert uh, on Egyptology and, and whatnot uh, than us. Uh, uh, Sir Banks, Sir Banks, uh, Monsieur, Monsieur, uh, your your friend Omar, uh, Omar Mohammed. Uh, we met him when we were here last. Uh, is he still in the country? I believe he is. Uh, I think he is in uh, in London at the moment. Do you require to speak to him? Uh, well, perhaps he can aid us. Uh, we're trying to find a, a correlation uh, between um, some attacks on a, on on another. Uh, Egyptologist uh, and and the attacks on yourself. Uh, um, we're just trying to tie things together. Uh, we're, we seem to be having some difficulty. Perhaps uh, someone more familiar with the material and whatnot uh, would be able to to aid us. I mean, even your own insights might prove valuable. Uh, I can have some some information sent forth. Uh, sent over here that uh, can maybe help us in our in our research um, yes certainly well I'll, I'll always uh, do what I uh, what I can to um, assist you and I'm happy to make an introduction to uh, Omar f for you and arrange perhaps for you to uh, meet him excellent excellent okay so I'm gonna I'm going to uh, text the Fraser's fighters in Texting. Well, text. Uh, Telegram. Uh, Telegram, thank you. Uh, send them a message to, uh, you know, forward copies of, of the documentation, uh, especially any Im important bits that they seem to have found uh, to Sir William Banks here, uh, care of us. And... Uh, make arrangements for, for copies to be sent to, to uh, Omar Muhammad as well. It's just to see if they can, uh, it's going to take some time to ship them. I understand a few months perhaps, but in the, in the month or so it took us to get back, they may have found some stuff already and uh, maybe they can, they can, um, maybe we can find some stuff in the meantime. We'll look for his, look for his, uh, you know, attackers, whatever. Sure. Yeah. All right. So I, I'll take care of that. And okay. then uh, I guess we should go and talk to the local constabulary, I guess, or what? What do you guys think? Okay. Trying to gather local information about um, the comings and goings of um, foreigners, maybe, in the um, Torset um, countryside in Victorian times as a uh, streetwise role or persuade role, whichever you, uh, whichever you prefer. I will do a cross between Streetwise and Persuade, because they're both unskilled. <laughs> Alright. We have, like, no social characters, but... <laughs> Sadly not. I've, I've got Intimidation. I got a critical failure, which I'm going to spend one of my many, many bennies on. What are you, what are you trying to do? Make people like you? I'll find out if they've seen any strange looking foreigners oh. around. Okay. Oh, I don't even have streetways or anything. That's what I'm saying. None of us has uh, any of those skills. I, I thought Irina would be. Nope. Oh. What, 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 okay. Perhaps, uh, perhaps Vicar, uh, perhaps you can help us out here, Frederick. I um, will obviously roll and um, pray for no, the best. Uh, no, no, no. What I was going to suggest, perhaps, was holding a mass uh, where we pray for uh, pray for the the uh, you know the the damages to to Sir Banks's stuff and and, and pray for the souls of those people that. Uh, the strangers that that attacked such harshness and 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 gather the people all together and see if they remember anything. It was it was you know a month or so ago uh, this attack. So perhaps uh, if we get them all together in one spot, perhaps they, we can address them all and and perhaps jog their memories. We'll use the the fear of God, if you will, or or the the assistance of God, if you will. 
Hmm. Okay, there should be a village chapel or church down there. Oh yes, they're everywhere. Okay, I'll go down and see their local priest and organize a get-together for a, uh, you know, Swore, as someone just said. I think okay. he said Swore. I don't even know the English term for it. Can't be party? Swore. Well, Swore would be like a party or something, but I'm, I'm thinking more of a religious gathering, uh, you know, Sunday. Fit. Sunday. True. Yeah. Get people together. Hope the faith. It'd be hard to get people to come to the church unless there was some reason to come here. So I think I like a uh, uh, some sort of fit or something together. Get the Sir Banks oh, here to get some food or something in. We party, get people together, talk. I can crash sandwiches. They all come out for egg crash sandwiches. I don't know if they had crisps. They crash cucumber, cucumber sandwiches. Cucumber Ooh. sandwiches. That's Ooh. it. Yeah. Said cucumber. Well, we have a few days. I mean, it's not like we couldn't wait till Sunday. All right, you can have a plus two to this um, roll for your um, because you put sandwiches on and cake. Is there going to be window cake? Is this going to be religion? The fifth check. Of course, there's going to be cake. Okay, e cake. <laughs> oh, funny. Okay. Well, yeah. well, while, while these guys are doing that, I'm going to go over and talk to. Uh, railway guy, the, the local station master or whatever, and see if he remembers anybody coming or going on the train, because the train is the, one of the main ways of getting to this part of the country, right? Um, yes, it is. Uh, you can get uh, here by road, but yes, the train is the most popular route. Um... They must it... have... Uh, Plus two faith, right. sorry, direct, yeah. The guy who's on there at the moment says um, he, he doesn't uh, remember um, anyone unusual uh, coming through. I like Dunk the Witch. <laughs> never, never, never did burn the witch, though. I think the, the other religion does the confess your sins. Well, you get a small army of uh, little old ladies who'll turn up for um, cucumber sandwiches and, in fact, you'll get everyone. The whole village will come out, you know, free sandwiches and cake. Um, a lot of the elderly ones and uh, people were a lot more God-fearing in those days. So uh, you'll, you will get a good turnout for your um, event. Right, everyone spread out and ask everyone that they see strangers that weren't us. <laughs> Strange looking people that aren't you, yeah. Um, Alright then, so uh, this will be Persuade or Streetwise at plus two for your, um, since you've got a captive audience and you've fed them cake. <laughs> uh, someone got a real good roller. It's a good job, Jonathan and Pierre are here, they're the uh, talkers. I thought I'd go going around showing his muscles and hit, hitting a hammer or something. I well, mean... Pierre has an 11 there, so I guess that should be good. <laughs> really, you shouldn't, you know, make, you shouldn't make or not make rolls based on what I roll. I mean, you might be far superior in your rolling ability or <laughs> your your natural role-playing ability to, to find, actually find out the information that we may or may not have at our disposal. Well, I don't guess so. <laughs> you forgot the plus two, so it was a... Well, it's, it's still just a two there, so... <laughs> okay, um, Mrs. Winthrop, you'll speak to her. 
and um, she she said, uh, "Oh yes, I remember now. Um, oh, he was he was around the time when we had the the, the problem up here. There was some um, strange-looking gentleman in a carriage. I didn't sp uh, speak to them at all, but they they drove through all quick. Didn't stop. They didn't just uh, drove straight through in a in a horse and carriage." How rude. Uh, I'm sure that they, they almost hit you on the way through going so quickly. How rude. They did these newfangled carriages. They do, they go really quickly, you know, around these bends. Someone's going to get injured. Can you, can you describe the carriage? Uh, was it black? Was it red? Was it, uh, was it large? How many horses drew it? Uh... Oh, it was um, it was a London one. It was one of those ones the the, the higher. Um... Handsome. Oh yes, that, that's the one. That's the one, dearie. Have you got any more cucumbers? Oh, I'm sure there must be some plenty more around here somewhere. I'll shuffle up or off to trail cucumber sandwiches. Oh, and you really must have some of the Victoria sponge, um, in honour of the Queen, of course. Oh, with a, oh, I, oh, I like a bit of Victoria sponge. So you will find out from the charming lady that um, there is um, a uh, handsome cab was uh, hi hired and came rattling through here without stopping. Some strange looking gentleman aboard. Very well, I guess we'll uh, pay a visit to, uh, ow, what is it, Haley's? What is it? What's the name of the rental place? Come oh, Hanson. Hanson. All right, we'll, we'll uh, pay a visit to them when we're back in the capital, I guess. Um, all right, well, now that we know that we're looking for a fast driving, does anybody, did anybody else? In the village, see the the carriage, or see where it went, or hear the carriage rattling through town after the fact, after the explosion, or anything like that. No, this this was during the day. This was a saw, and I don't go out after dark. It's uh, it's dangerous. Oh, I I was sort of soliciting the rest of the the villagers to see if anybody else heard or saw the the carriage rolling through town. Oh, or more importantly, when it when it left and which direction it went, I'm assuming it went back towards London. But yeah, having, and just, rode, having just rode here, I know how long it takes to get from London, right? Yeah, no one saw it um, arrive. Um, sorry, no one saw it leave. Um. Okay, well, we enjoy the rest of our luncheon, I guess. And and uh, go back to the man, the the manor, I guess, Kingston Lacey. All right. So the clues we have are Hanson rentals and foreigners, possibly wearing Egyptian shoes. Is that our clues? Definitely Egyptian shoes. Definitely Egyptian shoes. So if you were going to find Egyptian shoes, who would make them? Egyptian um, cobblers. Hmm. Okay, well, um, perhaps we should uh, return to uh, London, because that's where Omar is, and uh, if, if Sir Banks can arrange a, a, an introduction, we've already met him, but if he could perhaps arrange a meeting with him, we could perhaps, uh, he just came back from Dig uh, when we were here last, and perhaps he knows more about this these or, any organizations or, or people who are interested in restricting the removal of Egyptian artifacts from that, that seems to be the thread here, right? 
perhaps he can lead us to who may want who may want to uh, actively or who, who may be being active in rest restricting or recapturing or preventing the removal of Egyptian artifacts and that combined with uh, checking in with Hansons we can maybe find a couple of clues as to who these attackers were okay is there anyone else um, wanting to do anything nope just yeah. gonna moan about the mansion well you could target Harden it I guess. Electric fence, gun turrets. Right there. <laughs> right. Okay, so you're heading back to London? Right, so you, you're done at, um, at the manor, you're going to head back to London? Yeah, I guess so. All right, you uh, head back to La um, London with a uh, few um, clues, few leads. You've got an appointment with uh, Omar, which you can uh, talk to him about uh, Egyptology uh, stuff. You also want to visit the Handsome Cab place to um, see if they can help you at all. Okay. So uh, we'll stop at Hanson's first, I guess. Okay, visiting them, the clerk there will say, oh, uh, we uh, can't really give out uh, details of our uh, passengers. We do uh, respect the confidentiality of our clients. My man, I think you find that you should be telling us the information you have got because heathens hired your cab and they attacked a good noble lord down in the countryside. And intimidate. Oh my god, no. Bunny. Worst intimidate ever. <sighs> well, I move up behind Frederick and I say, you'll listen to what he says, right? And I'll show, I'll flash my muscles. <laughs> That's a fall. Investigation. Oh, damn it! Uh, sorry, wrong one. Wrong one. Damn it! <laughs> London cabbies are very immune to intimidation. That's, uh, that's what I'm thinking. Surely, if you do not tell us who these people are, that is because you are in cahoots with them and therefore are just as guilty. You know so what I think? Maybe um, the problem would be solved with you dying. In their place. Oh, mes amis, mes, my friends, my friends. I, I, I do not think that that threats are 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 necessary. We shall simply call the constabulary down here to to help with the investigation of a very important uh, an attack on a very important person that has directly been linked to this this uh, this company. Uh, an eyewitness has placed uh, one of their cabs, and I'm sure the local constabulary, the militia, would be more than happy to take the investigation from here. Uh, uh, the guy begins to uh, spot us. All right, all right, calm down. I'll tell you what you want to know. Don't want none of this uh, trouble here. Well, there would have been no trouble if you'd simply answered our question in the first place. Let me just check the book, see what I can do for you. You don't mind if we come with you to look at the books, do you? Uh, I'll, I'll just bring it out. It's right, right here. Right here it is. And he, he'll, he comes out with a, uh, a a book, a log of um, going back to the time that you're interested in when the uh, when the attack occurred. And um, oddly enough, on that day, 
Um, yeah, we, we had uh, someone here, D didn't give a name, he didn't, but uh, I, I remember him well. Um, he was a, um, a Middle Eastern, look Arabic looking gentleman, he was. Uh, this geezer came in, paid in cash, he did. Um, and um, the, uh, I, I had the cab and uh, they, they went out there during the day and came back in the middle of the night. Uh, had the, uh, the, the, the carriage driver waiting off in, uh, in some, um, some lane somewhere waiting for them. They, they all came back and uh, had it back here, they did. You, you said they a couple of times. There was more than one? Yeah, I th think there was five of them in total. One, one geezer came in here and, and bought everything and uh, he took some friends with him. Five of them in total. Presumably went to some sort of um, party or something. I don't know. Don't know what these uh, rich folk get up to. Uh, can you get a, give us a, a detailed description from what you remember? Uh, well, he... He had a beard, uh, long hair, this um, chap, um, looked a bit scruffy if you ask me, but uh, dark hair, I don't know what to say, so he looked like an, an Arabic uh, gentleman. Uh, very well, Do you, is, is your driver here that took the boat that day? Driver? Um, yeah, yeah, you can speak to the driver. Jack! Put that scalpel. No, you don't say put the scalpel on. Um, he, he calls in a uh, driver, a uh, fairly burly looking sort. Uh, what do you want now then? Well, some information and, and perhaps we can make it worth your while. Um, uh, you, you, you took a, a, a coach out to, uh, uh, what's the name of the village where Kingston Lacey is? Kingston, yeah. Kingston, uh, uh, some time ago, and 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 uh, there was four or five gentlemen with you. Uh, you didn't perhaps, perchance, uh, during the course of the several hour journey, overhear any names or anything? Uh, did you? Do you remember? I, I jingle my um, my pouch a little bit. That it's got some coinage in it. Oh, he looks longingly at the uh, pouch of coins, but he said, uh, I wish I could help you there, Governor, um, but they uh, all t were talking foreign-like all, all the way through the, the trip. Couldn't understand a bloody word they were saying, none of them. When did you pick them up from and drop them off at? Uh, well, they came from the, the station here and uh, we, we, we dropped them off uh, just near Whitechapel. Have you... Uh, have you you heard that language before at all? Nah, I'm, I'm presuming it's um, it's uh, some some Arabic thing. Uh, don't know. Don't it's eat really often, do you? I, I say something in Aramaic to see if he. Does that sound like it? Uh, your your mother dresses you funny or something like that in Aramaic. And, did it sound like that? He frowns. Uh, yeah, a bit like that. A bit like that. Yeah, yeah, that could have been it. None of us speak Egyptian, right? Out of character? Nope. Sorry, no. no. Alright, I uh, I shuffle him over a couple of shillings. Thank you very much, Governor. How many, how many shillings in a pound? Uh, Twelve, I believe, sir. For some stupid reason. <laughs> I have. I have 7.6 pounds, so I'm going to give him 0.2 pounds of that. Ah, uh, splendid that. Thank you for your time there, sir. Thank you uh, very much, boss. You thank you for your time, uh, Mr. Bookkeeper, uh, Mr. Uh, Bookie. Thank you, boss, thank you. Okay, by the time you do this, because you've come back from uh, Kingston, it's um, fairly late um, now. Um, so you'll be heading back probably to meet Omar the next day, because um, it's uh, time's getting on. If you could all make me a um, notice um, check, please. Um, this one, however, you are... Yeah. Notice from everyone, if you would.
Anyone uh, want to penny that? I've got a success for Jonathan, Irene, and Pierre so far. Oh, I'm not. I'll, I'll, I'll keep my Benny. I'm too busy praying to my Lord for forgiveness, and that didn't work as it didn't spot him here. Oh, I promise I'm going to fetch Jonathan's token before next session. I keep forgetting to do it. I'll believe it when I see it. That has been a bit epic. I'm kind of used to you looking like that shady bloke now, but never mind. Did I miss the first turn then? Um, yeah, you will do, yeah. Well, I've probably rested on the trip back, so I'll have all my power points, wouldn't I? No, you've gone four months with, or two months of your trip without resting at all. <sighs> probably. Right. Then you actually could have a level or two of fatigue if not resting. <laughs> I think you'll be fine. Yeah, no rest for the wicked and the godly alike. Is that the lady's name in Kingston that saw the carriage? This is Winfred or something like that? Winthrop. The old woman was called Winthrop? Yeah. Wow. Never heard that name before. Oh, that. Right, okay, gotcha. Her surname. So anyone sat and just setting something up? That's fine. Okay, so um, those of you that um, succeeded, you get dealt in this turn. Oh, and he starts off with a joker. Remember, prisoners. Okay, you see a um, a man that you um, recognise. He. Um, is behind a cart and he's armed with a rifle and he just points it at you and um, and shoots. Um, you will recognise him, I'll show you his picture. He was one of the guests at Sir Banks's house, wasn't he? He was. The artist. I thought he was Henrico. Henrico, Enrico Gambucci. Gam Gambucini. He was the man who tried to escape, and you bl bludgeoned him, and then um, discovered it wasn't him. See, that's what happens when we don't kill people. <laughs> they come back and start shooting at us with rifles.
I see nothing of this until next turn. Well, yeah, and shot. they come shooting at us with rifles, and Frederick goes blind. If you, uh, they say, you know, if you hear the shot, then he missed, right? So, or he shot someone else. He missed you. That's the important bit, right? Excuse for you, I'm sorry, because you're uh, closest. Oh. Sorry about that. Oh, he's over there. I, I, oh, was, doing I was going to say I rolled bad on the damage, but I didn't. Sorry, uh, basically a shot comes out of nowhere and um, uh, strikes you. Would you like to, um, Benny, that, sir? It's one of them. Both of them. Well done. I am. I am definitely picking up quick as my next advance because once again I am at the bottom of the order. Quick's a great edge. Yeah. All right, Jonathan. I think you. I certainly did. Okay. You can. Oh, actually, I'm going to put some more on then. Um. All right. Okay. Yeah. No worries. I'll reveal them all, it's easier. Um, okay, there's basically people um, descending on you from around here. It looks like an ambush. The other agents there. Um, they are armed with uh, pistols. I shall run up to... Well, he, he was the one that I saw... Um, I will see the others as I ran, so it uh, makes sense that I go charging towards uh, our uh, friend there, and uh, I shall attack. You ripper dogs! He says as you attack him. Uh, oh, sword first. Um, I'm drawing the sword, so that's a minus two. That will miss, but then um, the claws are automatically out, so I ah, will Benny that. Nope, it's looking like, uh, like a miss. <laughs> Fair enough, I go charging in and completely miss. You're up in the faces there, which is always good. Well, that's what I like to do. The damn agents. Pistol shot rings out and um, tries to shoot poor Adger. Right. We're coming in at you, mate. No oh, good. Uh, okay, this guy next to you, he basically tries to shoot his pistol um, into your stomach, Jonathan. Messes, because he's hitting your parry. Well, he'd have missed anyway, but never mind. This guy here is going to shoot Frederick. Time is far. He retreats back down the alley. Uh, it's not. No, I don't. I usually only do it on double one. Sometimes I do, depending on what. Um, this guy will pop out from what, Agent Five, and he takes a shot at. I was going to go for Irina, but I think she's a bit covered from by the statue. So sorry, it's Frederick again. And that was a misclick. Oh no, that was a hit. Ooh, two wounds on um, Frederick. Pardon? Hey, God protects. This guy steps forward, takes a shot at Adger. 
Sorry, I'd do. He does. He runs back down the alleyway. Irina, did you get dealt in? You did indeed, so you can act. Right, so I'm going to shoot Agent Agent. Agent Agent, okay. And who is the other gun after? Why did that not... Oh, it does, yeah. Yep, it's a taxi. Glancing blow. Shaking your seam, duck down. That's my turn, isn't it? So I'll skip it. Are we considered to be having all of our gear with us right now? It was Atkus go by there, by the way. Yeah, but I, I didn't get a card as well, so... Oh, okay, okay. Um, yeah, you can have your gear on you. I presume you're getting fairly paranoid now. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to pull out my tomahawk and move over here. Take a swat at Agent. Not Agent. Oh, what's happening? I draw my weapon and I go over to Agent 5. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I got six of them. Yep. Below four. Pardon? I'm not sure what he's below four off. Never mind. Um, oh, it's his cards. On my card. Oh, yeah. I'll hit this guy. I've got minus two because I have to pull my weapon out of its hidden thing. Boom, 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 boom. There it is. I'm cursed! I don't know what's happening! <laughs> and that was my turn. I didn't want to use my last penny for this. And I just realized I forgot to do my armor again. Every time. Enrico will... Uh, he basically um, draws out a uh, rapier, that vicious rapier he had before, and... Um, that you rippers, you are all unholy. You will bring bound fire and damnation upon us all. And he uh, lunges towards you, uh, Jonathan. I, uh, I'm going to play a card. Put the minus one on, but... Oh, oh okay. Yeah, what... Um, Boost a trait if you want. You can do it yourself, yeah, I think. I'm gonna, I'm gonna boost my vigor trait <laughs> for the duration of this scene. With the, with that minus one for the the Florentine edge that I've got. I should have. You should have. Um, he got minus two. Um, draw. minus two for quick draw. Oh, plus he, one for that. Does he get so minus? He, he subtracts one from any gang up bonuses. That's all. So that he just won't get a gang up. Oh, okay. Um, so your parry is seven. So that's actually a miss, isn't it? Uh, no, my parry is seven. Yeah, but he got a gang up bonus on you, which you're. Ah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he shouldn't have a gang up bonus. Oh, actually, the gang up. Yeah, but the gang up bonus is applied after, isn't it? So he got eight with the gang up bonus, but even without it, it's a seven, yeah. so it just hits you. Yeah. All right. 
Man, my dash on fire today. Um, two wounds. Hang on. He he got um. Got. Six plus one. So that's seven. Yeah, he did. He got seven. Yep, yeah, I <laughs> laugh at him. Luckily, um, you're soaking his. I don't think. I mean, it didn't matter in my last. Oh, it's, it didn't matter in my last attacks because they were they were that poor. But I don't think it added my plus for the Florentine. Um, I'll just have a look see what I should get. Uh yeah, you'll need to put that on your. Cat, you might need to make a duplicate weapon and give it a Florentine bonus. Um, it's just basically a plus one uh, fighting roll uh, against um, plus one to my fighting when I'm fighting somebody who's got a single weapon and no shield. Okay. So, so yeah, I'll get a plus one bonus for that. So I can remember to do the plus one uh, mm -hmm. manually easy enough. Cool. What should we do, mate? Now? So I will attack him with the sword. And then I'll attack him with the Ripper Claws. Okay, I'll pull that shaking on him for now. <laughs> cool, I've used one of these bennies. You're dead. Damn it! Okay, so this guy will uh, go for a pistol shot again. Okay. Oh, just hits you with it. Yeah, I'll take the shake. Just shake. This guy, L. Five to there. Just trying to help his mate out. Misses. That's back just the one. Uh, this guy. Um. Oh my god, he's got this crazy cleric. I'm gonna go at him. Um, he takes a shot at you. Tries to shoot you in the chest. Completely messes. So shaking on Pierre. Oh, it didn't do your soak automatically, one second. Oh, it won't if I don't apply it first. Don't. I don't know if you want to try and unshake that up here. Yep. That's it. Yep, you're fine. Targeting him properly? Yeah, yeah I think so. It doesn't seem to be doing the thing properly, though. Oh, he, he, he chops into bits, though. Splat. Um, can I scoop his pistol on, as part of my move action, or what? Um. I think it's uh, 
It'd probably be an action Scoopy's pistol because it's like a army. I, I, I just run over to him. You kick Scream it away, I guess. Uh, oh, no, I just, I just chop him, pull my tomahawk out, and get, run screaming towards Agent Sixer, yelling uh, an Indian, Indian uh, war shout. <laughs> cool. Alrighty, I draw my axe, run over here, jump over the, the back in here, and smack Enrico one with the axe. Alright. God oh, damn it. I ban you that. Oh, I can't go. And then they have the E line, it would just be a straight roll. Then. All All right. Right. That's the gang. You mustn't, because you're shaking, it must be given to you. All right, good no, it, it does. Um, I noticed it after I said, don't forget the gang up. <laughs> cool. And I will unshake. Uh, I'll attack uh, Enrico as well. Okay. Ow. Well, in these wounds now, he's Benny's down. That's the plan. Hey, I broke a four this time, but I'm still halfway down the order. <laughs> oh, he keeps just catching with that gun. Sorry. Oh, you soaked it there. Swearing wildly in French, I chopped this guy with my tomahawk. Shaky Muddy's on the back foot. Um, wasn't shaking, so I'm okay. I'm going to do a multi action. Um, my first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to intimidate this person and say, You heathens, back to the hells that you spawned from, and go all rah, 
Das wäre es. Well, that didn't work. I just hit him with my sword. Hey, Mars. Oh, wait, I can't forget. Did you hit the roll against it? No. <laughs> and then I hit him with my sword. I take your sword. Ah, that's I. It's not telling me if I hit or not. Oh, it did. So, but it's above it. Okay, thank you. Did you wish you ran away? Oh. Splat. That was me. Alrighty, I go. I go wild. Somehow that ended up on uh, Enrico instead of myself. The wild attack. Oh. Okay. And I'm trying to uh, to disarm him. Oh, okay. Attack against his arm. Yep, so it's at minus two. It's a hit. Yeah, just because the gang up. So he's and, got... Uh, has to, to beat a strength for all against a nine there. Okay, while well, he okay. drops his weapon. The rapier goes clattering to the floor. And can I kick it away? So he can't reach it easily? Um... Or yeah. is that an action? Uh, uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I kicked away for now. This is cool. Okay. Ready. Spend a Benny so he can act. Um. I tell you what. Roll me a D8 with one being directly north. Uh, please, wreck. We'll see where he kicked to. Um, oh. Under the wagon. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, it's gone under the wagon. Yeah, you basically managed to kick it under the wagon. Uh, that's no good for him. Okay, so he... Um... He said, We will meet another time, the rivers. He, uh... Runs off, pr provoking a tax of um, opportunity. Oh, um, Alrighty. he will, <laughs> be honest, um, oh, he can run with the defend action at plus two, can't he? Or is that the one he can't move with? Yeah, he can defend at plus two, can't he? Well, I think he has half movement then. Oh, I we mean, don't want to do that. Move normally, yeah, while performing this maneuver. Yeah, he can uh, move normally, but no running. Uh, oh, well, he's going to run, so, uh, yeah, okay. You attack him, you've also got a plus two, sadly, because um, he's not got a uh, melee weapon in his hand. So he counts as unarmed. So okay, both... Well, I'll go for a strike. Both Adger and Jonathan can whack him at plus two to hit. Nice. Don't kill him. Oh, no. <laughs> Famous last words, don't kill him! Ah, oh, well I shake him. Shaken? Does he take the shaken? Or do he, does he use a banny? Uh, I've put the shaken on him. Oh no, I'm going to use a banny actually, because otherwise it's going to stop his movement, isn't it? Yep, but uh, okay. Nelson is also going to do something. Go on then, Jonathan. Um, hang, on. hang on, hang on a second. I'll draw a card. No! Technically, we should have the gang up as well, shouldn't we? But we should move <laughs> the gang up's not on. You, you have a plus four. <laughs> plus, okay. plus six nice. of the total. Yeah, put... plus I get an extra one pay you putting back. Yeah. Plus I get an extra one because of the quarantine, because he's not using two weapons against me. Go for the head! 
Critical fail, critical fail. Over the head. Double one, come on, double one. Leg anything, anything. No, kill him. <laughs> okay, so if I go, that puts me at a. Oh, actually, just just grapple him, and he is, he's stuck here. You have plus four to your roll. It's awkward for me to grapple, in all fairness, because I've got a sword in one hand and I've got ripper claws in the other hand, so I'm probably not in an easy position to grapple because I've got stuff in the way. Can you grapple someone when they're running away, though? Oh, yeah, that's true. Ah, no. Uh, so, I will have... Um, yeah, I'm going to try to cut his leg from under him. I think it's only one um, attack you get, so it won't be both, both I think, you only get one. No, I, I I know that. I'm just trying to decide which weapon it would be. Um, I was just when we were talking about the grapple, I was saying I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. You're lucky one. You didn't missed. get uh, the plus four there, so that's... Uh, this, it's a raise, uh, anyway. It's a race, so it doesn't matter, yeah. Okay, I've, I've, I've got the thing up for the raise, anyway. <laughs> oh, that's fighting, sorry. Um, hang on. There you go, it's only a wound. That means you get out with your moves. Oh, you get shaken. I forgot. Oh, is he, how did he look out? Did he jam that? Okay, he basically takes a, a, a pummeling, but uh, manages to uh, get out of there. Hi, Amico. And he runs into the um, mist down in an alleyway here. What, he turned into a mist? It's a um, dark, foggy, misty London. He uh, basically runs around th out there and, yeah. Gotcha. I'll, I'll take my anger and frustration out on the agent that's been shooting me. I'm hitting it every time. Uh, uh, could you put me on wild attack, please? <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, you spent a penny on him. Okay. Ah, oh, useless get. He goes down under the uh, ferocious ripper claw attack. Yeah, I'll, and I'll just throw that was the the sword. And I'll just sort of like, as he's going down, I'll just carve into him with the ripper claw because I'm just taking it out on him. <laughs> Oh, Agent Shit Six <laughs> comes to his senses and um, tries to shoot at poor Pierre. Misses. I try to run back to the others. I as well. I can't see anything else to do. Ooh. Frick is a uh, very fast one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hit. Here, fighting in the distance. Run towards the fighting. Hit nine, ten, twelve. And that was me. Uh, 
All right, I'm going to uh, wild attack on this guy and try and grapple him. Okay. Shoot at me with his pistol in his face. How do I put a wild attack on that? Oh, I'll do it. There you go. Alright, so it's a uh, opposed fight rules. Yes. It's a grapple, is it? Yep. Yep, opposed fighting. Okay. It's a seven, are you happy with that? Yep, pretty happy with that. Oh, you sucker. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he um, yeah, breaks free of your grapple attempt. Alright, we're, we're scrumming it up in the alley here, so... <laughs> I've got one! Miss at me! Have you got him fa hold Have you got him fast, then? He doesn't need shooting. <laughs> I don't have him yet. That's just all I yell. <laughs> well, if you don't seem to have him, I'm going to shoot him. Yeah, he's, he's definitely uh, looking like he's breaking free of uh, the, the grapple there. You'll need to move I, a bit. Can I choose to do non-lethal damage even with a pistol? Yep, uh, it's... Um, oh, um, can you do it with a ranged weapon, actually? I think, I think you can at minus one. Minus one to hit, I think. So it's minus one to hit. Okay. Uh, I'm also going to give him cover so he'll be at minus three to hit, I think, and you just need to move around the corner a little bit. I'll give him cover though because Pierre's in the way and it's a little diddy alley. So, yeah, minus three if you want to do a uh, non lethal. Would you like to uh, Benny that? Uh, yes, I shall There is non lethally captured. Um, yep. Yep. Problem with capturing him like that is we can't ask him any questions. Yeah, he, he was non lethal, though. I, I non lethal did, so he's alive. Oh, okay. Cool. He's um, down, but um, he's shot in the shoulder and uh, on the floor. I'm assuming I'm unable to try to run after that Eric guy, right? You... You can try. If you make me a notice roll, I'll say. Um, you can... Ah, oh, damn you, Rick. Okay, you get it. <laughs> you'll, you'll hear footsteps um, running down the um, cobbled streets, even though you can't see him because of the mist. You could give chase if you wish. We'll go into a chase thing. I'm, I'm running after him. Okay. Everyone can run after him if you wish. We have to do our notice runs too, or we just run after Adgar? Um, yeah, you can run after Adgar now. If Adgar's, yeah, he looks like he's off in hot pursuit, so yeah, you can. So, let me just have a look. I, I will get a uh, chase thingy on the go. 
As I pass Pierre, I'll ask him, can you handle the prisoner? Here we go, here's the chase. There's Irina again, killing Irina. All right, so we go into a um, chase scene. If you want to shoot the guy, um, it'll be, I'll give you minus two for cover because you're going through windy streets and things. Um, but um, yeah, try and catch him. Good luck. Okay. Just going to run. <laughs> Pierre, you're on, on the uh, ball here. It's an agility um, check normally. Um, Actually, I am not going to go on the chase here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and stabilize this guy that Irina just shot. I will uh, tuck his pistol in my belt and, and try and stop the bleeding. Uh, call for the constabulatory, the militia, whatever. And, okay. Uh, just stay with this guy. So you can just take me off the tractor there. All right, fair play. Um, make me a... Um... I have no healing skill whatsoever. Uh, well, make me an unskill check and... Just for giggles. There you go. All right, so you you'll be uh, handily bandaging them up. Um, however, you uh, did give everyone a joker before you uh, before you left. So that's cool. Go get him, guys. You see him uh, laugh. Ha! Rip it, fools! He says. Last words. I'll get you up. Alrighty. And uh, you want agility roll, right? Um, yeah, it can be agility, or you can spend a Benny to do something else cunning. If you want to try and use another skill, you can spend a Benny and, you know, if you can come up with something else you can do. Maybe, like, knowledge to, you know, n something like that. Smarts to, to, to shortcut or something up to you. Ha! <laughs> Probably not going to use my smart. Yeah, but <laughs> you get the idea, obviously. Well, it's alright, yeah, you move forward one. You still got an action, so you could actually take a shot if you wanted. Well, I have my axe in my hand, so I'm actually going to throw that after him. Alright, okay, yeah, well, it's minus two, though, because cause you're running and the like. <laughs> Damn it, Rick! <laughs> okay. This is going to be the shortest chase ever. I have to find his axe after this, though. He'll be stuck in the body's back. Oh, how is the damage with the throwing? Do I put my strength to it, or is it only the weapon damage? Oh, I think it's... Is that saying the throwing weapon itself? I think it should be the same, actually. Um, you might just be able to change the axe to a throwing weapon on your sheet, temporarily. Well, but then it's just the same thing, so okay, so I'll just uh, use the damage down. I'll have to shake him. Humph. Okay, Irina, sadly, you get a, a complication on your... So do I have to resolve my complication first? You do, one second. So mm -hmm. I've just shared the chase deck in the uh, chat window, if you want to roll on that. If you... Rick says throwing axe is strength plus d6 damage. So, can I make a, um, a an agility check to uh, get past that then? You can indeed. If you make an agility check, you'll squeeze through the clutter. You, good one for you, that's Link. Sorry, I'll give you the kiss of death. <laughs> you'll, lo you'll lose your turn, basically, if you don't pass this. 
Okay, you managed to squeeze through, so you can take your turn as normal. You can do your, another agility to run if you wish. That's a square movement, and you can take a shot. Now, um, let me just check the damage that went in, because it's only a d6. Strength plus d6. Oh, that's what you rolled, wasn't it? That was my agility roll, not my shot. Alright, okay. Yep, yeah, no worries. It's a minus two the shot as well. Oh, that minus two. Yeah, well, no worries, it's a mess anyway, but the, yeah. Okay. Just my second shot will be a minus four then. Oh, why is that? Because the second shot's at minus two to the first oh, one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you've not got the full ambidextrous or whatnot. Yeah. But you don't care, you hit. <laughs> Damn you all! That's me. He takes Did a wound. She was actually left handed. <laughs> Do you want to take wild attack off you, Jonathan? Or? Um. <laughs> I'm just thinking charging down after him like a wild animal, to be honest. So, uh, no, I'll keep it on. Okay, yeah. What does my little card say? Oh, yeah, you've got clubs as well, so... Oops. There you go, if you want to make a roll. <laughs> you find a pothole, you can either leap across agility minus two, or you can just spend a Benny and go blindly forward across it. Frederick doesn't use Bennies to jump over things. He's so agile, he will do it himself. You just want to show everyone your smalls again. Hopefully it doesn't blow up when I jump over this. So you get delayed at the time being, unless you want to banny there. I'll get delayed, I don't mind. Okay. I've lost my tracker. Oh, because he's wounded. <sighs> that wound that Irina did just slows him down enough. Now I'm out of bennies. No. What's the finish line? Four movements. I'm going to use my last belly on that, actually. All right. Oh, nice one. Hit him in the back, you'll see he sort of staggers now. Looking very wounded. Oh, did you move Ooh. forward any, by the way, Irina? Yeah, you can make an agility roll oh, and move forward yes, if I you wish. Oh, my agility roll, sorry. Right. Yeah, you were shooting. Too busy shooting to, yeah. Ah. 
<laughs> Running <laughs> away. <laughs> <Me>. <laughs> Okay, you'll Crow crowded street at night. Yeah, it must be. A, um, it'll be lots of um, prostitutes rats. and yeah, ratties in the way, um, <laughs> and drunks, uh, tramps. Yeah, you find like a little tramp thing. Um, so uh, notice or strength at minus two, whichever you prefer. So strength minus two. You just barge your way through, flatten uh, everybody in the way. All the beggars. Can I find anything that I could throw against him? Uh, something that wouldn't kill him? Sure, yeah, there's plenty of litter and all sorts of detritus on the London streets, so you could uh, pick up, say, an old shoe, you see, standing there. So you <laughs> wang that feather pillow, you wang that at him. I'm going to say it'll be an action pick it up and then you're at minus two for the cover, so it will be at minus four, but uh, you know, why not? Fine. And I will bend you that. <laughs> okay, you just want to kill my bad guy with a shoe, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Just rubbing my nose in it now. <laughs> uh, I'll use my last bend. Alright. God damn it. Oh, you hit a pat person on the street. Well, he remained shaken. God damn it. No bennies. Ah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I will catch you. <laughs> you actually did, yeah. <laughs> That's outrageous. Right, so with that, you'll find a shortcut. You'll um, slide down a, um, a side street or something, and um, my god, you can move what? Um, four? Yeah, right on top of him. So basically, you take a shortcut, uh, you come out on the street just in front of him, and um, yeah, make an attack if you want. Uh, can I do the, the grapple? Yeah, the post fight. Uh, gra grapples, watch as post fighting? Yeah. Not very good at fighting. Ha 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 ha, I yeah. am. <laughs> Believe you did. I get a minus two, don't I? Because it's a. Okay, here we go. Oh my god! I imagine, okay. I imagine you've been a bit portly, so you're probably like, you know, wrestling, you're good at it, bit of weight behind it. Yep, and with his minus three, he's um, injured and in pain. You manage to easily um, wrestle him to the ground, and you'll get his arm behind his back, and um, you push his face down into the dirt of the uh, London street. I say to him, this feels very familiar. Did I not do this with you before, or does someone one of us? <laughs> yeah, I think you did catch him up. Because you rippers, you are unholy, ungodly animals! Uh, sorry. I'm a vicar of the Church of England. I think I'm very holy. Heretic, heretic, you... Uh, abandoned the, the ways of the Pope. Oh, you're one of them. <laughs> I pick up my shoes and my axe. <laughs> yeah, you do, do, do you find your axe in the crowd? That's the question. Yeah, you'd be able to get your axe back. What? It's just a normal axe, so... I'll tell you nothing, Rippers. You can d do what you wish with me. Oh, God. Well, I'll take my axe to his nose and do it, or cut it off. And say, are you sure? My beautiful moustache! Adger, 
to intimidate people to give information. This is how you do it. And I punch them in the ghoulies, and then I try and intimidate them. You friggin' uh, Roman oh, follower. Blah, blah. <laughs> My character, when I do intimidation, just lose all speech. Okay. Wow, okay. Anyone else intimidating him? Well, he's yeah. intimidating me, so I'm backing off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stay out of the way of the priest. Multiple shading at him. Oh, I'm, I'm just growling and sort of like flashing claws in his face. <laughs> right, this is where I um, pop an explosion. Sorry, guys. Oh, I did. Oh, no, I got a raise, but he still wasn't good enough against you animals. <laughs> All right, all right, uh, do, do not hurt me. I uh, tell you what you wish to know. Seriously, uh, when you said explosion, I thought it was a bomb and it just blew up. <laughs> oh, no, no, sorry. Yeah, I no. thought that as well. <laughs> no, it's the Dyson folk. Who set you up? Who put you up to this? I work for the Vatican. We. We have a long time disapproved being enemies of your organization. You uh, dabble with unholy things, unholy creatures. You graft them onto yourself. It brings nothing but ruin and uh, loss of humanity. You are a danger to humanity itself. Your organization needs to be destroyed. Not sure where he comes from. He should be Italian, but you know. Sounded slightly Italian. <laughs> I thought he sounded more French, to be honest. <laughs> he, he, he spent a long time in Paris. So it's a, a one off of it. He travels about a lot. Yeah. <laughs> sounding Welsh in half an hour. Yeah. Look, you great Irish priest, get off me. Sorry. <laughs> So, what would we do with this guy then? What would we do with his friend? Do we put them out of their misery? I shouldn't say that. Well, you do have cells at um, Van Helsing's lodge. I'd suggest that then. Yeah, you certainly well, can't well, be allowed to return to his masters. Yeah, well, let them sort it out because this is like, you know, religious matters and. It's way above my pay grade. Let a bishop handle it. All right, you'll um, you'll deliver him um, to Mina Harker, who um, looks gravely upon the news that the Vatican's uh, taken and his friend, yeah, has taken open hostilities um, against you, the society once more. Um, historically, years ago, the Vatican was in open war with the um, Rippers, um, and sadly, it looks like um, they have been spurred into action once more. Another set of enemies of the uh, of your organization, sadly. You're clicking enemies, left, right, and center. I make sure that I collect all of their weaponry and whatnot off the dead dead boys as uh, you know um, stockpiles for our uh, future um, lair or whatever whatever we call it lodge lodge thank you okay I'm thinking I'm thinking near the docks. Because I'm going to, um, cause usually stop at half past, I'm going to sort of wind it up now and just uh, leave you with this uh, next development. In the morning, um, it'll be about five days have passed since the first Ripper murder. The papers the next day are once again filled with uh, news of Jack. New Ripper letter, read all about it, rings through the streets on every corner. The startling new letter had been delivered to a George Lusk. He looks like this. Well, I did actually go out to, to take a look at the grave from Jack the Ripper. Did that look uh, unsturbed or? 
okay there that night so before this happens you will um stop by jack the ripper's grave um it's uh, make me a uh well, a notice roll or survival maybe you could try you can all do this if you wish Tracking, sorry, yes, uh, that's what I meant. Yeah, it's fairly. Whoa, Pierre, and Frederick, oh, that's, that's, that's what I'm. That's what I'm here for. Okay. Stick. I am the French tracker. The night before this, you notice that indeed the grave appears to be have been disturbed and refilled once more. Um, you could um, exhume the grave if you wish. Is that what you want to do? Indeed. You Let's find. Just say a prayer over it first. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Arr, I disturb the god. Oh yes, yeah, so, yeah, you say all the prayers over it, but you do um, dig uh, down um, into the grave of um, Jack the Ripper, and um, you uncover the coffin, hoist it out, and prise it open to discover that the coffin is indeed empty. Inform um, Miss Harker immediately. Let's close the grave first. She looks really worried. Um, this is um, a, a terrible development. I, I did not think, I thought this was some sort of hoax, a copycat or something. If it is indeed Jack is back, he is extremely powerful. It took the whole of the Ripper organisation to take him down last time. If he's back again, then this is an extreme danger for us. We must divert all our resources to trying to uh, apprehend and uh, capture him. If it is indeed that, I'm, um, we have very dark times ahead. Was uh, Fraser's fighters able to determine anything from the documentation in Egypt uh, regarding what the good doctor was, how he was performing his rituals and whatnot? And if so, uh, can we find any evidence that that has happened here? Um, you will get a link between the your contact in Cairo, Dr. Omar, um, here, and the research that Adgar did in the um, library of Kingston Lacey. Um, they all actually point um, the, the, the commonality in there, the correlation is a, um, a minor um, Egyptian god um, by a god of chaos by the name of Apep, I think. Apep? -P? A dark god who is the uh, opposer of Ra, um, is the uh, god of chaos and of um, nothing good. <laughs> I'm sure something more dramatic than that. He's the god of nothing good. The god of nothing good. Sounds terrifying, doesn't he? Sorry. Um... <laughs> so the obelisk and the uh, Egyptian stuff or that the good doctor was meddling in that's all associated with this god, Apep? Yeah, not... Um... It's not that the monument was like entirely devoted to APEP, but there are references to APEP in all three places, which um, which links them in effect. There are other things in there, but um, this is the, the most worrying aspect of it. You think perhaps that APEP could have been involved in all of them. And... Um, so the paper reads the next day that a new letter has been delivered to George Lusk. He was formerly the chairman of the Whitechapel Vigilance Committee during the original Ripper murders. Back in 1888, the original From Hell letter had been delivered to Lusk also. This new letter had been uh, delivered to him and the newspaper prints the text of the letter in full. It reads, Dear boss, it's been a while old chum, but here I am. I ain't done. Not by off. In fact, I'm just getting started. You heard from me from hell, but now I'm back 
in my old stomping grounds and I'm not alone. My friends will be back too. Watch out, the whole army of rippers. I ain't gonna quit ripping till I have my revenge. You're all fair game now. Be seeing you boss, Jack. Who's, the, who's his boss? The housing? Well, he's referring to George Lesk as oh, okay. the boss. To experience for you all, my dears, and we will continue the investigation into Jack the Ripper and strange Egyptian connections in two weeks' time. Excellent. Oh, ah, sorry, Rick had shared something also in chat. Well, thank you very much for playing, everyone. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks, mate. Indeed. Cool. So, yeah, that's a bad day for the start for me. Yeah, it was funny though. Yeah, those um, those guys of mine were rolling really well on the um, first attacks on you. I kept um, rolling really high. Yeah, I got shot every single round. <laughs> yeah, I think everyone got shot at least once. I think. No one got wounded. That's just the important thing. Yeah, that's you did the, good. That's the key thing, yeah. It's a good job I don't play longer sessions. If I do a five-hour session, it would really start the uh, grinding, but it's cool. Cool. I will uh, see you all later. Yep. 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 Yeah, see you later then. Night, folks. Have a nice week.